A highly anticipated book is coming out tomorrow. It is the latest in a series that was started by Twin Cities author Vince Flynn. Flynn grew up in St. Paul. He died in 2013 after a battle with prostate cancer at the so very young age of 47. When the author died, he had already started working on his 15th novel titled The Survivor. The book follows the story of Flynn's popular Mitch Rapp character. Joining us now is Kyle Mills, the author who was selected to finish Flynn's final novel. Uh, Kyle, this had to be a, a pretty emotional thing to be selected to, to finish this book. It was. I, I was a huge fan of Vince's. We started at the same time, and this is actually my 15th novel, too. Oh, really? Were you and surprised when you got the call? I was surprised, actually. I, I assumed that that would be kind of the end of the character, which was really disappointing to me as a fan and to millions and millions of other fans. A lot of us here, of course, know Vince Flynn. I've done stories with Vince while he is here. Just a great, great, generous... Here's how generous Vince Flynn is. We were over doing a story at his house. My photographer, Joe Berglove, looked at... Uh, he had a bunch of shoes lined up. And Vince is like, Joe, take my shoes. And he gave Joe a pair of his shoes. <laughs> okay. he's, he's an amazing guy. Uh, but these novels are beloved. He only, though, had three pages done right before you took over. Yeah, which... Uh, How do you I, do that? Yeah. I mean... It, it was kind of funny because I assumed there was a lot more. I mm. signed on thinking he wrote like I did, which would be a huge outline and tons of research. And I said... After, I said, send me the box. Send me the stuff. And it was right. three pages? And they said, didn't we send you that? And it, that was it. It was the three pages. He liked to just start and write them through. You have a little bit of an interesting story about your father that sort of ties in with the Mitch Rapp character. Yeah, he was uh, an FBI agent for 25 years and the director of Interpol and uh, the legal attaché to the United Kingdom. Wow. So, and so you know this world then. It's what I grew up in, the FBI, CIA, MI6 kind of world. And my father was actually a, one of the characters in Tom Clancy's novels. Really? Yeah, so that's strange. Tell us a little bit. This is the new book. It's called The Survivor. What can people expect? This is a, very much a continuation of Vince's last book, uh, The Last Man. Okay. So he, he tended to arc uh, his stories over multiple books. And the, the end of The Last Man was clearly... Um, there were a lot of loose ends and the story was going to continue. And then the first three pages did start to continue it. So I had a pretty good blueprint of where it was going to go. You want the fans to feel like they are reading a Vince Flynn novel. How, how did you, you study his kind of word phrasing and his story structure to be able to make that happen? At great length. Yeah. Uh, really? It was 6,512 pages, I can tell you. <laughs> and I read them straight All through. Right. You started at the beginning and then went through. Yeah, not the chronological beginning because he had written the prequels. So right. I read oh, okay. American Assassin first and kind of moved oh. through Mitch's life, took 150 pages of notes on everything oh. from the histories of characters to what weapons they used to how he set up scenes and word choice and things like that and tried to make it as seamless as possible that you wouldn't be able to tell where I started. And there is a big event tomorrow night to celebrate the book's release. That's right. You'll be out there. So uh, so it's tomorrow at 7. Doors open at 6 o'clock. So it's at the St. Thomas Academy in Mendota Heights. What, can, what will you be doing? Are you doing a reading or talking to people? No, we're going to do a couple of panels. Oh, so neat. we'll have panels with me and his publisher and some of his family and friends talking about him. And then it's a, it's a charity event for the school. Uh, St. Thomas Academy, it is mm -hmm. uh, October 6th, tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. And that, uh, you know, Vince was a huge supporter of St. Thomas Academy. I think the arena you're in is named after him, right? It is, yes. And <laughs> Frank Vassalero is going to be moderating it. Frank and Amelia were very close friends with Vince Flynn, so that's going to be a special night, I think. Yeah, it should be. I, I think it's going to be wonderful and a, a great remembrance of Vince. Absolutely. Great. Well, congratulations on the novel. There's going to be two more Vince Flynn novels after this, right? Two more, absolutely, for right. me. I've uh, about halfway finished the next Don't one. mess it up, guys. Wow. Well, he studied, he studied a lot of pages. <laughs> I can't wait to read it. I'm really excited about it. I'm trying not to mess it up. That's, <laughs> that's the main goal. Very good. You